Hi, my name is Albert Silver and I'm an editor of Chess Basic News. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the concept of the Engines Cloud. The Engines Cloud is basically the ability to use an analysis engine within Fritz or within Chessbase 13 to analyze a position using the engine from another computer, not your own. What this means is that you can access, let's say, from the weakest and dinkiest little laptop that you're using in a weekend tournament, at your club, abroad, without having to limit yourself to the power of that particular laptop or the battery life. Because let's face it, engines require a lot of, eng a lot of CPU power and they really suck up the battery of any laptop. There's just no getting, away, uh, getting around that. Now here we're going to focus on how to set it up and how to access it. Now over here you can see we have the Chessbase account because this is a Chessbase account feature. You will need a functioning account within Chessbase to use it. We click on the menu here and we have the long menu and we finally have the engine cloud. Let's click on it. Now here Contrary to the other apps that we've opened up and that had a number of little softwares to run, all we have is basically a list of explanations. And the reason is, is that while this is a Chessbase account feature, it really only runs from within Fritz itself. Now here we have a list of explanations, and you don't need to worry. The explanations are going to be provided within this video. But this is what you will get in case you get lost or if you're not sure. You can look at the different links here and access them according to your needs. How to use my own computers privately, how to use a public cloud engine, and how to offer a cloud engine in case you want to try to make some money. Why not? You won't make fortunes out of it, but you know, if you have a computer that's running idle, it's a nice way to accumulate ducats and make sure that that time is giving you something in return. Okay, now let's get into Fritz 15. And it can be within Fritz 15, Deep Freight's 14, it can also run from Komodo 8 or 9. All of these have this feature. And we go directly within Fritz itself. And we open it up, and we see the main program, and we can see that our engines aren't running, and that's okay. Now, if I run the engine, let's see what happens in terms of CPU power. I'm going to open up the Task Manager, which is a Windows tool to basically show you how much CPU is being used. And it tells me, well, it tells us that it's running about 20%. And the reason, of course, is that I'm recording this video. But let's try to run the engine here. And I'll click on here, and I will tell it to run Komodo and to not completely destroy the video. I'm going to tell it to run only two engines. So we'll run two, two threads. This is a quad-core computer, but if I run all four cores, it's going to paralyze this video. Let's face it. Click OK and run it. We start it, and we can see it's running very quickly. We've seen the little analysis here, and all that is good and well. Now let's take a look at that task manager again and see what's happening. It says it's using two cores. Suddenly, I'm using 50% of my machine. And if I were to increase it to 3, for example, it starts to go up even more. Now, all of this, of course, if I was running this long term, would essentially eat up my battery it's so fast it's not even funny. This is a laptop. If you're on the road and your laptop is the average, let's say, 3 hours battery life, and maybe you've already used some of it, well, that's not going to last even that much because those three hours are basically from normal usage. Even if your laptop is one of those newer modern ones, let's see, the Haswell systems that can run, let's say, eight hours. Well, bad news, if you're running your CPU at full speed all the time, it's not going to last eight hours. In fact, you'll be lucky if it lasts one and a half. It's that bad. Then the other problem, of course, is that your laptop or machine will probably be limited in terms of the processing power. I mean, you don't buy the laptop to be your most powerful machine. If you really want the most powerful machine, it'll be your desktop, the one that you keep maybe at home at your office. Okay, now let's minimize this and let's turn off the engine. Take a quick look and immediately it drops down to 
the minimum just to record this video. Great. Now what about that cloud video we were talking about? Okay, we go to Engine up here at the top, Open Cloud Engines. Now let's say that I want to offer an engine. Let's say I want to make this computer's engine available, but only to me, no one else. No one else will know I'm using it. It's my private usage. I just want to access it remotely from the other side of the world or from the other side of the house. No big deal. We click on Offer Private Engine. And here we basically will open up a list of engines that I can set up as I choose. Click OK and it will tell me that the engine is available only to me. In other words, to this same account, Albert Silver. I've already done this on another machine to illustrate how this will work, so I won't go through the full procedure. You can see, however, here a large list of engines, very small text. So you might need to set your video for a high resolution to read all of this. Showing all of the names of the engines available, who is providing it, the account users, experience if these guys are new or old the more stars the better this means that these are old hands these are people who are experienced you don't need to worry about strange shenanigans the power of their machine I mean are you using a, a small another laptop or are you accessing one of those really fancy rigs where they are accessing from how much they charge uh, the minimum nodes per second millions of nodes per second speed of the processors and of course here the number of threads. Threads, for your information, is the number of cores. So the more threads, the chances are the more powerful the machine. And here we can see that we have some truly humongous machines. 36 threads. My goodness, that's a really big machine. 36 threads. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And we have another one over down here that's 48 big machines. Okay, and here finally we have, can you use them? Waiting, 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 waiting. All of these machines are available in use. Okay, so someone is already using them. Now, it makes sense that the most powerful machines are probably the ones in demand. Here we can see this particular one is already being used. What if I wanted to use it instead? Well, you know, there are some nasty little tricks in this little system, and I don't see that. I don't mean that as a backdoor syst process. These little green and red icons on the side and yellow actually tell a story behind them. Green, of course, means that the engine is available. You can use it. You can um, you can access it and uh, pay someone to use their machine using a Ducat's account, or if it's red, if it's red, well, someone is using it and they've locked the machine. In other words, nobody is going to get it away, take it away from them. The tricky ones are the yellow. The yellow is this. Here I can see that it says it's free, so, yeah. And it's being used. What if I wanted to use this machine myself? They're using it, but I wanted to, let's say, make a higher bid. Well, just like an auction system, you can do that. I could come in here. If it says yellow, it means it's open to the highest bidder. Usually when you get an engine, there are two types of fees. You have the standard fee and you have the locked fee. The reliable fee, the reliable fee is when you pay a flat rate that's non-negotiable and that nobody can go over. And when you use it, that means your, that engine is yours until you say stop. And that will be indicated with the red. If it's yellow, it basically means I'm just using the minimum value because I don't see many people bidding on it. And if someone comes in and says they really want it so badly they're willing to pay more, or in this case anything because it's free, then they will be able to get precedence. You won't get kicked out on the spot. Every time you're using it, it's done by one minute slots. So it's not as if you're going to be in the middle of a position and all of a sudden your session is closed, you lost your analysis. You will be warned about it, that you're about to lose it, and that you have one minute left. Save your analysis. Okay, now let's go to the engine that I've reserved for myself, which is down here. Albert Silver, we can see it in bold face. Free. It doesn't mean that it's being free for everyone. Remember that I've used private engine. This private engine means that it's only for me. And I can see my 
engine, which is Komodo 9.42, 64-bit. It's an Intel Core i5, which is my desktop, four cores, etc. Let's run it. Okay, this engine is now visible only to me. Excellent. Let's go to the engine main process. Oh my, look at that. Here we can see that the engine is running already, three CPUs, so that would basically mean locking up this entire computer, except it's not. Notice how it's still using the minimum processing power to record this video. It is not using three CPUs on this computer. It's using it from my desktop. In fact, I could run multiple engines. Here you can see it says Komodo 9.42 and it's in blue. Blue means that it's a cloud engine. It's that simple. And I can see my analysis. Brilliant. I can change the move. And again, I can see my analysis. What if I want to run an engine from here as well? I mean, I'm using three CPUs for my desktop. Could I open up another engine? You betcha. Let's go to the engine and add Kapitzer. And we will put in, oh, let's put Fritz 15 for the simplicity. Advanced. Let's smart CPU. Keep it simple. Run it. Here. and there we go and look at that we are using four CPUs from this laptop as well as three CPUs from the desktop using two different engines all at the same time Now this is probably sucking up a little bit of the CPU here it certainly is so we're gonna shut that down really fast so that it doesn't have any detrimental effects to this recording and I can run this as long as I want from anywhere in the world for as much as well, for whatever purposes I choose the only condition of course is that one I have a functioning chess account that is active and um, fully paid up and of course finally that I have an internet connection aside from that I have no limits whatsoever and that pretty much concludes our little lesson on how to remotely access your engines using the Cloud Engines feature. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.